A U.S. Navy sailor in Naples, Italy has tested positive for coronavirus, marking the first confirmed case among service members stationed in Europe. This as the virus continues to spread rapidly worldwide. Lucas Tomlinson is live in Washington with more on that. Lucas. John, Italy is preparing to lock down large parts of the country, Europe's most drastic action yet to stop the spread of coronavirus. Our colleagues at the Wall Street Journal first reported the draft decree, which would take effect tomorrow if approved. More than 10 million people around Milan would be affected. Police and even the army would enforce the quarantine. Italy has nearly 6,000 coronavirus cases. More than 230 people have died there, the biggest outbreak outside Asia. The U.S. Navy sailor tested positive in Naples, about 500 miles away from Milan. Friday, the U.S. military announced its first confirmed case at the headquarters for U.S. forces in Korea after a South Korean employee tested positive on the base. This is the seventh coronavirus case confirmed by the U.S. military in Korea, but so far only one active duty American soldier out of 28,500 troops based there have been infected. Back home, Defense Secretary Mark Esper says he's fully confident the Pentagon could withstand the virus. We have a lot of capabilities in this building. Our, you know, our National Military Command Center has the capability to go for weeks at a time if they have to be locked down inside the building if we, if a, if we have some type of outbreak. Despite the rising threat from coronavirus, U.S. Navy warships continue their missions around the world. After leaving Guam, the aircraft carrier Theodore Roosevelt pulled into Vietnam earlier this week. But warships must now spend at least 14 days at sea following port calls to quarantine the crew. Earlier this week on Capitol Hill, the Navy's top admirals were asked this key question. Do you have test kits? No, we don't. We don't yet, but that's not just a problem for DOD. But um, I, think that, I, I think that we're getting to a better place in terms of uh, the production to allow us to be able to distribute those out to, the, out to the force. At the Pentagon, the head of infectious disease at Walter Reed Medical Center said there's no need to panic. I think people should, should recognize at the end of the day, this still remains a low risk um, infection to not just our service members, but to the American uh, public. John, there are now just two confirmed coronavirus cases in the U.S. military out of 1.3 million men and women in the active duty forces. John? Worth remembering. Lucas Tomlinson, thank you.